The Chinese capital Beijing is one of hundreds of large cities that use far more water than nature of itself affords them. People in Beijing have an average access to a thirtieth as much water as is normal in the world and an eighth as much as is normal in China. Levels in the city's reservoirs have periodically sunk dramatically. In this main reservoir, for example, by many meters. China's leaders have therefore asked, would it be better to move the capital to a place where there was more water or to move more water to the capital? Extensive measures are being taken to improve the situation. This is the Liu Ling family, who won first prize in a water saving competition in Beijing. The authorities often initiate campaigns for reduced consumption. If a billion Chinese all use less water, it'll have a real impact. This man invented a technique for reducing water usage in a water closet and became a TV celebrity. But reducing consumption is not alone enough to solve such a critical water crisis. The Chinese state has decided to manipulate the weather. They have built up an army of 37,000 modern rainmakers. The chemicals they shoot into the clouds could at last make man the master of rainfall. But the results are uncertain. And in any case, they cannot solve the deep structural problem that is China's water crisis. We have plenty of water in the south, but we have a lack of water in the north. So if we want to have all the country, the economy developed very well, and the society developed very well, we have to transfer water from source or borrow water from source to the north. Otherwise, we have to move a lot of people to the source. That's impossible. Instead of forcibly moving people, the authorities are embarking on a